All right, you've built out your home lab. You got lots of Linux servers to manage. Let's go through using Ansible. I have two scripts that I use for easy and quick management, and let's go through that. There are three requirements. One is SSH on all the servers, having sudo on all the servers, and keys to the servers so we can do passwordless connections. All right, so we have SSH installed on the servers. Now we're going to generate a key if you don't have one. So we're going to use keygen, and for the type we can use RSA or ECDSA. I like ECDSA because it's just as strong as RSA, but it's a faster algorithm. And we're not going to use a passphrase here because this needs to be all automated with our scripts. So I'll enter through that. No passphrase. Okay, so now we have our key. So we're going to copy these keys to our servers. And for that, we're going to use ssh-copy-id and dash i to specify the key. And we're going to use the public key. And then we'll specify our server. And this is just saying that we're going to install the key to the server and we'll use get a and we'll enter our password to log in. Okay, now the key has been copied. So now we should be able to SSH into the server without a password. And we're in. So the other thing we need to do is make sure that we are in the pseudo group. So a lot of distros, you just need to be in the pseudo group and that will get you pseudo access, which we are in, so we are good. And you want to verify this for every server. So in my Ansible directory, I have a couple different files. So I have a host file, a prox1 file, and a prox2 file, one for each of my clusters. So if we look at my prox1, these are the IP addresses of all the Linux servers on that cluster. Prox2 contains the IP addresses of all the VMs on my second cluster, and then my host file. And then the host file is both clusters. So first thing I do is shut down. If I need to patch my Proxmox servers, I will shut down all the VMs. So let's take a look at shutdown. So this is specifying all the hosts that are provided to the script. Become is for sudo, so become true means use sudo. And the tasks is just a shell command, and it's sbin init zero. So init is the is the run level of the system, and zero means shut down. So we're going to shut down the system. And here's a command to launch the script. It's an Ansible playbook script. Dash k means prompt for the become password or the sudo password or the password for the account to uh, use sudo. Dash i means we're specifying a file that will provide the hosts. So the script said all hosts. So every host that we provide to it from the hosts file will be processed. And that file is prox1, so we're going to shut down all the VMs on the prox1 server. And then the path to the shutdown YAML file, which we took a look at. So that's going to shut down all the hosts on the first cluster. So let's take a look at that. All right, let's launch it. And the become password. So that's basically the password for the account. The password for the account that I'm running off of, which is the same, the Scott username. It's going to process through each of those hosts in that file. And there we go. I'm getting this error. I just started getting this. I believe it's because the VM shuts down before it can send the final status. But as you can see, everything else processed OK. So we should start seeing these shut down. All right, and there we go, all shut down. So now I would patch the cluster, reboot it, bring it back up. All the VMs will be back up. OK, all the VMs are back up. So now let's patch them. 
And let's take a look at the app YAML file. So this is pretty much the same thing except for the except for the command. So process all the hosts become true, and the tasks are to use apt. And we're going to upgrade. We're going to update the cache, and we'll just set the valid cache time. And this is going to run apt update and apt upgrade. So our prox marks one VMs, and we're going to run the apt YAML. All right, I had a typo there, so I had to clear. But let's run that apt YAML file on the prox one hosts. Become password or pseudo password. I'm going to speed this up just for the sake of time. You can see it processing. And changed means there were updates that needed to be run. All right, there we go. It looks like we had four servers that required updates and two were okay. So that's our final status. So we got okay of two and then changed shows that there was actually something that needed to be done. So as you can see, even with lots of Linux servers, it's very easy to manage them using Ansible. I just rely on these two scripts. There's lots you can do with Ansible, but for home lab management, for me, this is all I need. Makes things very easy. I would just go through the process again for my Proxmox 2 cluster. And now I'm fully patched. Takes no time at all. Very minimal. Very minimal process. Let me know down in the comments what you do to manage all of your home lab VMs. And that's all for this one. I will catch you on the next one. Take care.